<coughs> Good morning, YouTube. Stevie here. Oh, just getting ready to go trucking. I should have buttoned all my buttons this morning, I guess. It is 7 o'clock. Getting ready to head out. Should be an easy, easy run today. Uh, we just got to run over to Finley. There's my Garmin that I use right there. Somebody asked what I use for my GPS. Um, run over to Finley. Drop this, as long as they have an empty. Drop this trailer. This thing, it started doing something weird. Um, drop this trailer at low lows, and then 162 miles, and then uh, pick up, uh, <clears throat> I guess there's a Campbell's right across the street, or right next door. We're going to get that, and, uh, Bring it back, and we deliver that to Aurora tomorrow. Uh, at one, which is kind of going to mess up the whole day. But Aurora's not <coughs> too bad to get to. That Oh, that load yesterday. That's what I was going to talk about. That Chicago load yesterday. I was like, what was I going to talk about? I was going to something. Um, that thing was horrible. Horrible, horrible. It was in... It wasn't far from the city. I mean, downtown city. It was pretty close. Um, and so and it's right in... And I mean, it's city traffic tight corners to try to turn and where this place was at where the gps sent me in from um spring valley there was a it wasn't a very big sign but it had a couple little red flags on it but you really you had to really watch because you'd never found it never seen it it said no right turns so i'm going like this way and then i got to turn right there's no and it's on the the far far corner of that of that intersection <clears throat> the, that sign says no 50 th foot trailer turn right there wasn't enough room because the way the traffic was and and where the the poles and the corners and stuff was you, you i seen it because people they didn't read the signs um i seen some guys try to do it and it was it was terrible i mean they was back in a Backing up traffic. And so this place, when you go into to a lot of those, I don't know if every city is this way, but Chicago is, a lot of those places when you get closer into town were built back when there were single axle day cabs and, and, and you know, 20, 40, not 40 foot trailer would have been a monster trailer. You know, they were 20s and whatever the bigger ones they would run. I don't remember. I, that was before my time. <clears throat> so for for those trucks, you know, you can get in and out pretty well. But this place, their driveway was about maybe 100, 150 feet, maybe from the intersection. And it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the south side of Chicago. There's cars everywhere. Schools are getting out. I mean, it was a, there, there was two lanes of traffic coming up to that light so you had to turn onto that road and then make a u-turn into their parking lot about 100 or 150 feet from the intersection so the cars were all backed up and you had to hope that somebody would stop and let you in and you know how that is especially in chicago they generally aren't one much for letting somebody in um you almost had to just bulldoze your way through, or they would never stop, because they they wanted to be closer to the intersection because they've already waited one or two cycles of that light to try to get through the light. So they were not excited about waiting for you, so they could wait yet another cycle of that light to to get through. 
Um, you know, it's Friday. They're either on their way home or on their way out. Or the last thing they wanted to be doing was fooling around with you. Oh, terrible, terrible. Then you get into the place. Like you, you had to make a U-turn almost to get in it off of the street. Because the, their parking lot's wide, but not real wide, but a little bit wide and, and narrow. So you had to like you do a U-turn into their parking lot. And then you had to blind back into a dock in a building. So you guys don't know what it's like to back into buildings. It's like backing into a black hole. Now, but they had big steel pillars. Now, there was enough. Uh, they only put one truck in, in between each of those pillars. So they, there was enough room that you could kind of hook it in there. It wasn't. It wasn't good by any stretch of the imagination. It was not good, but you could do it because there was a JB Hunt truck there. One or two of them there. When I got there, one of them may have been dead. I don't remember if it was dead. It was one or, there's at least one there because I backed right into the spot that he did. And then there was a, a couple local delivery trucks in there, but um, it's a roofing place. Like they make tar and, and uh, paint for fence posts and, that kind of stuff it looked not rolled roofing they didn't make rolled roofing but like the uh the other stuff the liquid stuff um now they were the people that was there was very very nice um all hispanic that must be a more hispanic part of chicago you must have to go a little further south to get into into the uh where the black folks live um i don't go to south side of chicago for that very reason it's hard to get in and out of um but I will say this, every time I go there, everyone's always very, very pleasant. Um, these people were, um, it doesn't matter where I go to pick, I mean, you always find somebody that's not very pleasant. But 99% of the time, all the folks I deal with on the south side of Chicago are very pleasant. Um, as, pleasant as, as pleasant as anybody I ever deal with, um, the folks are. Um, but it's just hard to get in and out of there. I won't go back. I'll never go back. Never, ever, in this lifetime or the next, will I go back to that place. Um, oh, just because it's so hard to get in and out of. It's dangerous. And then to leave, uh, they wouldn't let me make a U-turn. to. So you, now you got to, to leave, you got to go back out onto that traffic. And and you can't now you got to make a U turn towards the intersection, right? Well, they're not letting you in that way. So the I couldn't figure out why the J B Hunt guy, uh, when, when I was backing in, and I, I didn't see which way he left. But then I see him drive by when I was backed in the door, the guy that I backed into his spot. Well, what happens? You can't make they won't let you make that turn. The cars won't. So you had to go straight and and go the wrong way down the road. You don't want to go down and make like you know around the block and and then come back. Um, which is what I tried to do, but every one of the streets that looked like you were supposed to, the stupid Garmin was wanting me to turn on, looked like it was a subdivision. Not a subdivision, but like Chicago, you know, houses and cars on both sides of the street. I said, I'm going to get down there. There's going to be a bridge. I'm not going to make a corner. This is going to be a disaster. So I ended up going a few, quite a few miles closer into the city. The skyline was not a skyline. It was about a mile or two in front of me. And the only reason why I was I, I forced me to turn there's a bridge, it was 13-2. <laughs> That's why I got to get off this road. I knew eventually I was going to get to 294 or 94. 94, not 294. It wouldn't let me go that far. So then I had to end up coming back. It took me what should have taken two hours-ish. Four. That's what it took me to get back. Because then it's construction everywhere. Oh, my gosh. It was the worst. The absolute worst. All right, everybody. Uh, God bless. We will talk again soon. And uh, if anything exciting happens today, maybe I'll do a video tonight. And then, uh, yeah, we got to work tomorrow. So we'll do a video tomorrow for sure. Uh, thanks for all the new subs. I really appreciate it. And uh, God bless. We'll talk again soon.